Okay, so now we get to the slightly more difficult part of the resource, because these are some reactions that you may not have seen before. But, however, you can use your understanding of mechanistic chemistry to have a good go at uh, answering these questions. So let's have a look at this. So alkenes are unsaturated compounds that can be used in organic synthesis. They can be formed in elimination reactions. So this may or may not be a new term to you, elimination reactions of halogen or alkenes. So an example of this is the reaction between 2 bromopentane and hot ethanolic potassium hydroxide. So that just means that the potassium hydroxide is dissolved in ethanol. So using your knowledge of reaction mechanisms, draw appropriate curly arrows, as is always the case, complete this mechanism. So you know that a curly arrow represents the movement of electrons, and you can see here you've got your reactants and you've got here your products. Okay? So you can look at the products to help you figure out how this reaction proceeds. Okay? So you have an OH- minus here, and you know in the uh, products you've formed a water molecule. So what's likely going to happen here is that you're going to uh, accept a proton. So the hydroxide is going to act as a base, uh, accepting a proton from the 2-bromopentane. The question is, which proton will it accept? Well, the answer is the first curly arrow goes from this lone pair, so the movement of electrons goes down to here, and you lose, and this hydrogen atom is gained by the hydroxide. Okay? So that accounts for the formation of water. Now, what happens next is that this bond between the carbon and the hydrogen, sorry, this bond between the carbon and the hydrogen has to break and it will form a new double bond here. So you can see this in the molecule pentuene, that you've now formed a double bond, you formed a pi bond in the molecule. So that's where this comes from. So now you form this uh, double bond here from the movement of that pair of electrons. The bromine will leave as a bromide ion. Okay, so the bromide ion will leave the molecule and you form Br minus. So that's basically what these uh, what the reaction is doing. So you're removing this proton up here, you're breaking the carbon hydrogen bond, forming the carbon carbon double bond, and then you're losing the bromine atom. So you can see here where these curly arrows are going and where the electrons are going because that's what we're representing. And you can see from the products that this is where the electrons have gone. Okay, So in terms of the marks you get one mark for each correct curly arrow. Okay, And that's how to do it. So if you didn't understand that the first time you tried it, have a look again, try and go through it yourself and see, do the curly arrows and the bonds I've now formed map on to the products. Okay. And that's how to do question four.